How about a better way to 1348? A better way to 1348. A lot of people use these moving average crossover strategies. The one that's uh, hot right now is the 1348 EMA crossover strategy. So in this example here, the yellow line being the shorter term or the 13, the white line being the longer term or the 48. So if you get the yellow going over the 48, you got a bullish trend and vice versa on a bearish trend here. So, right, makes sense. It's a very common strategy, getting a lot of traction now from these ape influencers. I think they had to come up with some way to get people to actually make money, right? People have been losing so much money. So here we see a clear bullish cross. Here we see a clear bearish cross, okay? Now, I have a better way to do it. I don't like all these lines on my candles. I don't like them all. And sometimes I'll have the VIX up here too. Sometimes I'll have the tick, the NYSE tick. Sometimes I'll have other stocks I'm watching because I don't really don't pay attention to one chart at a time, especially when it work. So check this out. Add an indicator on TradingView called difference in two moving averages, oscillator. Difference in two moving averages, oscillator. Okay, add that. Change the settings to your 1348 if that's what you want to use. You could use other any other settings. You could use 9 and 36. You could use 50 and 100. You can use whatever you want. You can change these from EMAs to MAs to all these different types of moving averages, but just so stick with 1348. That's what we're talking about. So here's our bullish trend example right here, this cross. Well, guess what? Now we're seeing it in histogram bars. Increasing histogram bars. This is the widest divergence here. The averages are the farthest apart. That's the largest bar. Kind of goes sideways a little bit, and then the lines get closer together. And then we see the histogram bars get smaller and turn to this darker green, right? Likewise, with our bearish trend, we see the exact opposite. We see red histogram bars indicating the shorter average crossed under the longer-term average. And we see the divergence get further apart and closer and further apart until it's at its furthest here. And then we see this shorter-term average returning to the longer term average. So I think this is a much better way to look at it. So you can take these off and you're seeing the same thing. You are seeing it as you would see a MACD indicator, which is essentially is the same thing, by the way. It is a moving average cross convergence divergence indicator. So if you have this on, you don't need MACD. Maybe throw on a stochastic RSI, RSI, stochastic fast or slow, whatever you like. These two indicators really, really are kind of all you need. That's, this is all I use most of the time. I'll have the tick on up here so I can see what's happening, how many stocks are advancing versus declining. I might have the VIX on. And if I'm trading another stock, I might have that on a separate line. But I don't like all these lines, moving average lines up here. Maybe I'll throw on VWAP. Maybe I'll throw on a longer term 200-day moving average, something like that. But as far as a shorter term, trading signal type of strategy get those moving averages off the candles put them on the histogram and you can clearly see the zero line is your cross right so where the zero line is is where the cross occurs once you know you have a couple bars expanding you've probably got the trend and of course you can confirm that with another indicator that's why you would have another indicator on to confirm it so don't run just off of one indicator, but you don't need 12 indicators either. So that's all I've got. A smarter, better way to 1348. Subscribe to the channel. Check out one of my live streams. Join my finance chat. Links in the description, and I'll catch you later.